Yeah, what up, guys? Um, Ice Mask in here for a, it's been a long time, but welcome back to Basement News Broadcast, our on camera show where we talk about all things, no matter what. Okay, gay, good, controversial, whatever. Yeah. So, um, first then, thing we want to talk about is the next generation, the PlayStation 5. PlayStation the Xbox, 5, X X Xbox, yeah, and then, uh, uh, Whatever it is, Nintendo, whatever And the Nintendo is. Switch. No, I'll say Nintendo's just its own thing. Nintendo's just doing something like this own at this point. Nintendo has this thing, they come up with a new console, they don't t talk about it like a week before it releases. So, um, what do you say Nintendo? Yeah, so, um, one thing, um, I do want to talk about is the lack of the chips and the shortage, which is causing uh, people not to be able to get a hold of them. And scalpers. And scalpers. The scalpers, too. They're scalping everything. They're even scalping amiibos. I know. What The thing is that there's a chip shortage, and that causes, but then scalpers are coming in, and yep. they're selling within two seconds. I've been checking okay. every day. Yeah, I have, too. For a PlayStation 5, and I still Rumor, can't get my hands on it. I did catch a thing about it, uh, about it, they're going to be a huge... They're actually going to do an actually internal overhaul of it, um, and uh, PlayStation anyway. I don't know about Xbox, but they're going to be releasing a lot more, um, starting in the middle of uh, about fall of this year. I heard they are going to be doing a remodel to change the chip up for the oh, outside. Well, the lookouts on the front and the outside is going to be the same, but the internal, yeah. So this is all the words. This is PlayStation. This is Xbox in Sony form. By the way, guys, guys, quick. By the way, guys, I've realized that 99% of you guys are not subscribed when you watch our videos according to my analytics. Damn. You're greedy, mother. So, please like, subscribe, and comment down below on the videos. Thank you. Now, back anyway, to, uh... anyway, uh, 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 they're burgeoning from a capitalism uh, 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 <laughs> lit friend who I would definitely be scalping if he could. Um... <laughs> Um, I got back some nice jewel. Yes, Austin got his back. back. And, um, unfortunately I got it back in a not so nice way because my uncle was borrowing it who passed away. And that's how I got it. And, uh, uh and, uh, one more thing I like to mention is Nintendo. Like, you, 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 you go back. Two cartridges. No. They go back to they go back and take the wrong games to keep going with. They sometimes they'll take the right games like 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 Gamer Freak. That's that 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 that's the other reason they got that through. You know you know it and you know it. this wasn't even Game Freak. It was um, Pokemon Snap with Bandai Namco. Well okay that's what, okay there you go that's your reason because Bandai that's like the one company that goes back and like hey what needs a rematch? Oh this is a good game let's go back and do it. Um, for example, Ace Combat. They, the only Ace Combat I've ever seen a mess up was Infinite. Because you had to go back, you know, that stupid fuel thing was retarded. Anyway, but, uh, that's why you don't make games too realistic, because, well... Wait, can't you worry where Ben is? Ben is actually holding the camera right now. Is he? Like, my hands are getting a little shaky, but I'm, it's, uh, it's not as bad as before. Yeah, and, um, another thing is, uh, the different people need to understand that there's been a port... A remake and a remaster. Now, yes. For me, the only one of those three that's to be 60 bucks, if anything, is a remake. A port should be like 30. And what are the remasters? A remaster depends on how old the game is. Like, for example, um, Demon Souls. That's more like a both a remake and a remaster at the same that's time. That's more of a remake at this point because it's. Yeah. But uh, see, a better example would actually be Shadow of Colossus, um, because that game was like two was like early two thousands, and anybody who's played the remaster can see what exactly all that work they they went over there and they smoked, they killed it. What yeah. what I would say a um what makes the remake and the remaster a remake is completely from scratch. It's yeah. making a game from it's scratch. It's the same. I mean, if it's a story based game, they usually follow the story. But they stay, they switch it up. Like for example, um, Final Fantasy Seven. Like um, Final Fantasy is a complete Final Fantasy Seven remake. Is that's what it is? It's a remake. Yeah, and actually, I don't care what you lead and say. I played. They can vouch for this. I've been playing Final Fantasy since I was like fucking seven years old, and I can tell you right now that game 
is one of the best remakes, in my opinion, in history. Because they not only they, they did that, but they added more stuff to it, which is they went above and beyond. And now they're going to do uh, like three or something on uh, free expansions on the story. And I'm like, yes, they're taking their damn time. Yeah. Not like uh, freaking, um, what was it, who made Halo? 303 games with their Halo 3 and ha Halo 4 and Halo 5, which basically killed it. That's out Speaking of Halo. Answers. Speaking of Halo, it looks to me like they're going around to Ubisoft to make it an open world. Yeah. How many like, time, Ben? Um, you got like five minutes okay, and what, 40 okay, seconds. Listen. Okay, listen. Okay, what are your thoughts on a Halo open world? I mean, I... I like Halo like in an open world, like a destiny setting, or like a completely... I don't know. That's what they're saying. See, my thing is with Halo, like, the Xbox had one... Like, maybe two exclusives that was really killing anything else. The best exclusive of all time, because based on sales and what it did for the console, was the original Halo trilogy. Everybody bought an Xbox for Halo. They didn't care about anything else. Like, that was the game. If you wanted to be the badass in school, you had Halo and you were good at it. And, um, and Bungie understood this because every single time... I feel like now that I think about it, I think they delayed those on purpose just to keep the hype up. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about it. Because I don't know if anybody remembers waiting for Halo 2. But God, like, what was that? Like, four or five times? Like, five, six, yeah. Yeah, and, but that game became, like, one of the best, best, one of the, probably the best multiplayer shooter of all time. And probably the thing that everybody tried, like, like, good God. And then Halo 3, when that was announced, oh my God. Like, World of Warcraft didn't have a chance when it comes to that hype. Because uh, they had, uh, like, Mountain Dew, like, every single commercial that was geared to, like, anything, anybody, like, 15 or under, younger, had, like, Halo involved with it. Because Halo, like, that's also what really put the competitive of gaming on, was Halo. Because that was, Halo. that was the most competitive game out there, like. Okay, I think we're gonna move on to our next segment. Also, so now, 303. You, if you want to say, like, yeah, so, and so also, I want to discuss something else like Microsoft. You know exactly where I'm going to go right I now. I think we should move on to <coughs> Bethesda. what we want in the next generation. Now, let's talk about Bethesda. Bethesda. That is a big one. Yeah. Okay, so, we all know that Phil Spencer likes to hype up his Xbox, even though his, his, his stupid self is what killed Xbox One. Now, they own, uh, they don't own Bethesda. They own like half fifty percent of it, but does that mean they're getting all the all the stuff going over there? Oh hell no! But that's is a, a studio games, a, a stu game studio. They want to make Moolah, like EA, but not a lot better at what they do. So what the thing is though, you will be getting things some some things first, and maybe better. I don't know, but um, but they only have like a two three year contract with them. And also the biggest reason is so they can ha literally have like the uh, Game Pass stuff free. So also, Elder Scrolls 6. Do not. It? No, <laughs> actually that's the question. Take your damn time. Don't do what, what CD Rocket did. Red whatever they, they did. And make us like Cyberpunk. So like when people start asking, where's the game at? Where's the game at? Shut the hell up. Let them make the game and let them make it good. We don't want to make it... Cyberpunk is still unplayable. Yes! Thank you! And then like everybody's like, Alright, we're just releasing this, so everybody shuts up. And then they start complaining. I'm like, I wonder why. And also, Pokemon Sword and Shield sort of have, almost had that problem. Almost. And I'm just like, shut up. Let them make a game. When was the last time they made like, they ever made a they made a, a, a Pokemon console game? Before Sword and Shield? Yeah, like actually legit Pokemon. Pokemon, like the original strap. Guild of Darkness, which Guild no one ever is. Like, instead of going to Diamond and Pearl, why'd you go back to the to the, the, the real, like, one of the most dark, well, probably one of the darkest kids games ever made, and go to Kill of Darkness and remake that, remaster, don't remake it, remaster, don't touch a remake, because if you remake that, that's gonna look like Diamond and Pearl's new graphics. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you're serious? You get a Sword and Shield love, but you're not gonna go back and probably get give the most loves uh, gen of all time. It's the same love. Of like Nintendo, bro, you gotta pay attention to your fans. Don't do like EA and just close all Need for Speed things. And hey, just... at least we got into Pokemon Snap. 
Now, Nintendo had nothing to do with that. You know, you're not both know that. One guy is like, hey, look, you want to make some money? Well, hold up, watch. Just shut up and let us do our thing. And then it's just like, bro, Nintendo, you gotta stop. You gotta, you gotta let your, your game, your game studios do their thing. Yeah, like look at Sony. Why well, do you think they have all these goddamn these exclusives? Like how many exclusives? Sony's exclusives have almost got. I've got like people fight over game of the year for them. I'm looking at one right now. Ghost of Tsushima, Ben, you wanna paint the camera over? I'm looking at one right now. Actually, two of them. Right next to it was a Rise of Dawn. Oh my god! N Nintendo, look. What is this? Like, one, two, three. Two, like, all these games, the three, and people are fighting, people, like, if you have fan bases fighting over, the, like, the same, the same studio's games, <coughs> yeah, the reason I tell you, I don't see any Mario, Mario fans and Pokemon fans clashing because they kind of figure which one's better. No, because they know that they're, that they, they didn't, yeah, it's just like, Nintendo, you want your fans to go at it. So let's move on to our final That's how you sell Austin. stuff. We gotta move on to our final segment. Okay, there's my rant. There's uh, hashtag Austin rant. Yeah, ask hashtag Nintendo, grow some stones. Okay, here's our final uh, segment of this Christmas news broadcast. All right, hey, what do we you... want for next generation? What do we not want for PS5 and Xbox Series X? Too, uh, the wrong remasters. Like, like, like Call of Duty, like, yeah, you're remastering the wrong game. Go, like the, everybody, nobody wanted war, nobody wanted uh, uh war on warfare. Everybody wanted Black Ops, Black Ops One and Two, and then World at War. Because those were the popular ones. It's like seriously. Also, I mean, then again, we are talking about Activision. There's a reason Bungie kicked you to the curb. <laughs> mm. How are we doing on time, Ben? Uh, love, almost uh, twelve minutes. Right, there so, we go, twelve right, minutes. Speaking of which, what? Do you, what? What is one thing you want to slow down on? What's one genre you want them to slow down on to try to give us something new? Something new. Like, um, really? What I'm looking for is a GTA 6. I mean, that and also Saints, if their Saints Row 5 is real. Um, I want them to go back to the roots with that. And go like G uh, San Andre I mean, Saints Row 2 and 3. I never played those to be honest. Um, because, uh, Yes, I get what they were doing with four and elected all that, but the the thing in hell thing was kind of like what? Uh, they should have just made that like its own franchise. Like um, another game, I really love them to go franchise. I love them to go to go back to its roots was Red Faction, because I played the hell out of Red Faction. These guys up here me rave about that. Because, we um, tried to stream it, but we couldn't because all the internet was Red right, Faction Gorilla, it, on, uh, honestly, was one of the best open world games I think anyone ever made. And believe it or not, it's in the, it's by the same people who did Saints Row, and it felt like I was playing Saints Row Three on Mars, and it was amazing. Like the explode, like the explosions are still some of the best in the business. That was like just cause explosions, like no. Also, cut the thing of open world. Stop doing all open world. It gets dry. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm looking at you, Ubisoft. <laughs> because you guys go, like, you got Star Wars, and what are you first thing you do? Like, open world. Yeah, like, what is this? It's like, it's like cut and paste. And, I, and um, stop milking franchises, too. Like, Assassin's Creed. Like, what part of Vikings is assassin? <laughs> like I can, I mean, can God. <laughs> like, like what? It's like everybody's. Every, when you have someone to go making fun of it and slapping God of War two on it, you know you got a problem. Also, that reminds me, uh, God of War two. That is a game. See, I would. I, I'm, I hope the world would be pretty dope, especially in that type of environment. But just be careful with that. Also, the um, shooters. Um, cut it out with the battle passes. Yes! Cut it out with and that. And the loot boxes. If it was up to me, I would ban Fortnite before I even touched Battlefront 2. Because Fortnite was the one going like... His kids are gonna... They, uh, they're the ones that are causing their parents problem. Because there were kids that spent like 3,000 bucks on skins. I know. I'm just saying... Like, skins. Yes. That's where... What do you think Epic Game... How do you think Epic Game got so rich? They make a games out. They get... They threw skins and they, they geared it towards kids. They're like, 
Mommy, can I have your credit card for this, this $20 scam? <laughs> I'm just like, no. And then, um, and then when they got the whole Rocket League, that, that shit went down so quick, it wasn't even funny. I mean, when everybody, I heard, I, nobody, I, everybody I've heard of loves Rocket League, but every game's got a hold of it. I they, think we're out of time here, right? They screw, uh, isn't that what you heard too? 15 minutes and 20 they seconds. Didn't, didn't you hear it well, from a lot of people saying that Rocket League went downhill? Yes. Game's got a hold of it. Yeah. Well, guys, I think we're All out right. of time. But we'll I'll go on another rant after lunch. We'll have another episode of Mystery News broadcast after lunch. But until next time, stay frosty. Stay frosty. Stay frosty.